Welcome to the mysterious and intriguing world of the 1974 TV series, Land of the Lost. Have you ever found yourself captivated by a television show that sparked your imagination and left an indelible mark on your memories? Perhaps Land of the Lost holds such a place in your heart. Can you recall the first time you tuned into this timeless series, embarking on a journey filled with prehistoric creatures, parallel universes, and the unexplored territories of the unknown? Land of the Lost, created by David Gerald and Sid and Marty Croft, unfolded its enigmatic narrative, introducing the Marshall family and their incredible adventures in a land that time forgot. As we delve into the fascinating realm of Land of the Lost, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this classic TV series. Has Land of the Lost left an enduring impact on your life, sparking creativity, or shaping your perspective in unexpected ways? Before we hear your stories, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Did you know that the series used a combination of live action, puppetry, and stop-motion animation to bring its prehistoric inhabitants to life? The Sleestack, Pecuni, and, of course, the iconic T-Rex were all crafted to transport viewers to a world where the ordinary met the extraordinary. Now, it's your turn. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to Land of the Lost. Share your personal connection with this classic TV series in the comments below. What makes Land of the Lost special to you? Don't hesitate to unfold the chapters of nostalgia and inspiration that this show has etched into your life. Land of the Lost, a pioneering television series that aired in 1974, captivated audiences with its innovative blend of science fiction and adventure. Created by David Gerald, the show revolves around the Marshall family Father Rick, son Will, and daughter Holly who find themselves trapped in a mysterious, prehistoric world after an unexpected time-warping event. The Land of the Lost is a lush, otherworldly landscape inhabited by dinosaurs, intelligent reptilian creatures known as Sleestacks, and an array of fantastical phenomena. The Marshals, aided by their makeshift resources, and a mysterious, benevolent entity called Anik, navigate the challenges of survival while attempting to unravel the mysteries of this enigmatic realm. Notable for its cutting-edge special effects at the time, the show's iconic characters and unique storytelling style left an indelible mark on popular culture. Despite its relatively short run, Land of the Lost remains a cherished classic, influencing subsequent generations of science fiction and fantasy enthusiasts, and inspiring various adaptations. Its enduring impact can be seen in the continued appreciation for its imaginative narrative and the exploration of the unknown, making it a landmark series in the annals of television history. Van Snowden, known for his larger-than-life puppeteering skills, took on the recurring role of the Tsarn in the 1974 TV series Land of the Lost. For this character, Snowden wore a blue nylon bodice docking adorned with silver reflectors, performing on a blue screen set. The production team used colored lights to create the Zarn's twinkly glow, marking a departure for Snowden, who had to adapt his puppeteering style to fit the character's unique requirements. Interestingly, only three Sleestack costumes existed during the show's production. To give the illusion of a larger Sleestack population, the production team had to employ creative editing tricks, merging shots, and maximizing the impact of the limited costumes available. This resourceful approach added an extra layer of challenge to the series, showcasing the ingenuity of the team behind Land of the Lost. In an unexpected casting choice, Bill Lambeer, a former NBA player with the Cleveland Cavaliers and Detroit Pistons, donned the Sleestack costume during the show's first season. This surprising crossover from the world of professional basketball to the prehistoric landscapes of Land of the Lost adds a unique footnote to the series' history. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the creative and practical aspects that contributed to the unique charm of Land of the Lost. From inventive costume solutions to unexpected cast choices, the show's production was as dynamic and imaginative as the otherworldly landscape it portrayed. In Land of the Lost, the Marshals, led by Forest Rangers Rick and Jack Marshall, embark on a prehistoric adventure. The Colorado River, flowing through the Grand Canyon, sets the stage for their initial journey into this mysterious world. The show, known for its blend of science fiction and adventure, faced a pivotal change after the second season. 
Spencer Milligan, a key figure, had a falling out with the producers, leading to his abrupt exit. Series writer, producer John Kubichin stepped in to portray Milligan's character in the third season opener. Amidst the challenges, Land of the Lost incorporated unique elements. Wesley Ura, a cast member, performed songs with relevant lyrics at the end of three third season episodes, tying in with the lessons learned in those episodes. This subtle musical addition added depth to the show's storytelling. Land of the Lost, with its innovative narrative and practical challenges in production, remains a landmark series. The behind-the-scenes dynamics, from creative editing to unexpected cast choices, contribute to the show's enduring charm. The transition from forest rangers navigating the Colorado River to internal conflicts and cast changes showcases the multifaceted nature of this iconic 1974 series. Recording audio for a Nick, the intelligent entity in the 1974 TV series Land of the Lost, posed a unique challenge. The costume, initially a wetsuit tailored to fit Walker Edmiston's body, underwent alterations that left it no longer fitting properly. To accommodate this, slits were discreetly cut into the sides and concealed by a tunic. The intricacies of a Nick's mask made audio recording a hurdle. A solution was found in the form of a headband with a dangling microphone strategically placed on the bridge of Edmiston's nose. Speaking softly became essential to prevent echoing issues during recording. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the practical challenges faced in bringing the character Enic to life. From costume adjustments to innovative audio recording solutions, the production of Land of the Lost was marked by resourcefulness and ingenuity, contributing to the series' enduring charm and impact on popular culture. Wesley Ura, the star of Land of the Lost, played a crucial role beyond acting. Not only did he perform in front of the camera, but he also took on the task of recording the opening and closing theme songs for the show. In the third season, Yura even revised the number, showcasing his multifaceted contributions to the series. This added musical dimension, with relevant lyrics tying into the episodes, provided a unique and subtle layer to Land of the Lost storytelling. Yura's involvement in both the visual and auditory aspects of the show exemplifies the depth of talent and commitment that went into making this iconic 1974 series. As we bid farewell to the enigmatic realm of the 1974 TV series, Land of the Lost, we encourage you to embark on a journey of introspection. Let the echoes of Sleestack hisses and the mysterious hum of the pylons linger in your mind. This show, with its blend of prehistoric wonder and interdimensional intrigue, has etched itself into the tapestry of our memories. Take a moment to traverse the landscapes of your own recollections. What lingers in the recesses of your mind the enchanting encounters with the Pakuni, the spine-tingling encounters with the menacing Sleestack, or the heartwarming bond forged between the Marshals and Chakal? Perhaps it's the time-warping allure of the series that has left an indelible mark on your imagination. Now, we invite you to share those cherished fragments of Land of the Lost that have become a part of your personal narrative. Whether it's a favorite episode that transported you to uncharted territories of excitement or a character whose resilience mirrored your own, let your reflections be the fossils in the amber of this timeless series. As we weave together the strands of nostalgia, let us revel in the universality of the Land of the Lost experience. Connect with fellow fans, exchange anecdotes, and build bridges across the chasm of time and space that this show has effortlessly traversed. Thank you for embarking on this expedition into the past with us. Your memories, like artifacts from the Sleestack Caves, enrich the legacy of Land of the Lost. Until our paths cross again, whether in the real world or the mysterious Land of the Lost, savor the magic of those ancient pylons. 